Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the meowiest cats. Meow. Meow. He's like, treats, treats now. Oh, yeah, treats I would now. like treats, please. Today we're going to be playing some 8-bit games. Where is my... There it is. There's the sign. Ooh, pretty. Let's swap that out. There we go. Hi, We've got kitty. some cats here. And yeah. Tanya's back. Yay! Uh, welcome back. Yes. Home early? Yeah. No, not early. Exactly when she's meant to be. <laughs> I'm taking today. <laughs> I just did some travel for work, so. Oh, home I'm from back. work. Yes. Yes. It's, it happens to be early. a day off. Uh, Erlen is not feeling well, yes, so, so Tanya's I jumped in. filling in. Yeah. Yeah. But I was here, um, yes. so yeah. Uh, we're gonna be playing Druidarium, uh, Mr. Hop and Robics. Robics? Robix. Robot? Robix. Yeah. Not Roblox, because I not know Roblox. that. Not Roblox. Okay, fair no. enough. Yeah. All for the Atari 8-bit today. Uh, and we have uh, Bocianu, 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 um, from Mr. Hop. I in, see, yeah, in the in chat the there. Chat. Awesome. I, I looked pretty lonely, apparently, without you. I know, I Had know. Two shows? He was complaining the whole time. He's like, I can't control everything and feed the cats. It's too many things. It's hard to do without a without a co-host. So it is. Yeah. It's much easier with a co-host. And and it is lonely. It is very lonely. Oh. <laughs> But I'm, I'm back. I'm back now. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Scrolling Ooh. beside Tanya. Uh, a cardboard box. I'll have her Atari, Andre Atari, Arkham H, Arms Scar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari Age 74, Atari Age, Atari's Maxwell's Beef Supreme, Beer Poker, Buffalo Pinball, Chelston Mal, Charles Leland, uh, Charles Whelan, Chitlala, Coral Patch, Colonel Lama, Crew Neck Line, Cubanismo, DNO, Dan FC, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Gamma Def, Glenn Main, Grey Defender, Ground Troop, Rob Homebrew Homeboy, Ivory Tower Collections, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Karako, 2600, Lambda Express, Lone DTZ, Mark Yohannes, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, McTown, Mace Command, MK Smith, Mr. Uh, Zarnu, Mother, Mr. Fix, Muddy, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neil Meaning, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Dave, Prow, Kohog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rundered Ghost, Repentless, Feedy, Ricardo, Kim, Pims, Rod Castle, Six Sweet, Slant Timer, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley Spice, S. Ramirez, Tessin, Rocking, T Flock, D Train, T Tiki Dan K, T Foes, Token Muncher, Crack, Check MD, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoko, VVG Double Down, X Ken X. So Good many. Job. Good if wanna, job. If you want to torture me and add your name to the list, yes. you can subscribe to the yeah. show and support what you like watching. It's free with Amazon Prime. Um, so, um, your voice is cracking by the end of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Average yeah. names per minute. Yeah. I think if we hit a hundred, <laughs> I have to. You're stop. gonna have to stop. It's just yeah. gonna have to be the rotating subscriber list because uh, it's just too much. It gets to be a bit much. We're almost at eighty. I see we have seventy nine. Yeah, uh, we did our, break eighty and you, last And you show. threw up a pretty high sub goal there of a hundred, <laughs> which is very cool. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, that's it's a, a lot. long list. Thank you everyone for subscribing. Missing a light here. Oh, uh -huh, I, I heard you say that just as we started. Quite as come on. Lit as oh, we normally are. oh and go. now right in the eyeballs. There yep, we go. Even right. more. Lit. That one's for you. Yeah. Uh, victim <laughs> of my own success. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, That's good stuff. So yesterday I got uh, tortured for about an hour and a half. Oh, yes. Um, I wasn't sure if you are going to talk about that today or not. So. Uh, oh, where's the... Just one second. What happened? Something's, something disappeared. Oh, the cat cam. What happened? I thought there was a cat cam that's normally there. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Why is there no cat cam? Oh, no. Oh, it's, is it well, plugged it's in? A good, it's a good reveal then, I guess. <laughs> uh, let that's odd. Let me redo the cat cam. Also, there's no cart. Is there usually a cart on that screen or no? No, not on that screen. Okay, there fair enough. Go. So I have one sock on, one sock off. Um, that's because yesterday I, nobody got the stickers. Nobody guessed the exact right spot of the uh, tattoo that I'm going to show you today. Oh! And uh, on the cat cam, you can't actually see the tattoo because it's around the back of my heel. Yeah. I uh, love that he has one sock on. <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> she said, she, the, the, the tattoo artist said I could put a sock on. Okay. But it's best to put it inside out. Really? Because it's not so. Smoother? It's smoother. Uh, yeah, it's softer. Interesting. Um, well, that makes sense. But I don't, I'm just around the house today, so I don't really need to put a sock on right now. I had to walk home with, um, I brought flip flops, flip flops, yeah, um, because oh. shoes would interfere with where it is, like yeah. you would rub it immediately, and it kind of felt like a sunburn, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah, That's, yeah. 
Um, same colorful bar that is hung on the wall? No, no, no. You're not guess. You haven't guessed it. I don't it's think it's not it, zero page themes. So. Nothing to do with video games. No. A lot of people guessed video games. Well, stuff. that would that would be that would be uh, rational. Large part of my life yes. is, is video games. It yep. always has been. Most most people's here, of course. It's a cat. No, it's not. No, a cat. it's not a cat face. Um, I love a cat face. I'd love this little black cat face. That would be very cute. Oh, the two cats. The two cats. There you go. Um, <laughs> So I'd, uh, I've always thought about tattoos, getting one yeah. for a couple decades. Yeah. Um, but I've always thought, I don't know what I would get or is what I'm going to get something that I'd be happy with for a long time. forever? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, or for a long time. Yeah. Um, and I think back to what I liked in my 20s or 30s or you know even as a teenager whatever yeah and if i got a tattoo at that time what tattoo would i have got yeah versus would you still want it now? versus like oh how would i reflect back on that tattoo that's very true and um and i also said that to uh, the tattoo artist as well yeah and and i explained it like okay well it wouldn't work for me but for other people it might be like a map of their journey of life yeah. it's like oh i was into this then yeah. i was into that yeah and that's kind and of even cool. relationships because they're they're often yeah. tied to Crossed relationships out names. even if they're not like <laughs> heart you know yeah um but they're often tied to life events and people right so yeah, yeah i can see that carl g says i thought of getting a tattoo that would be just a single pixel but then i'd have to decide on a color <sighs> yeah. that's funny uh, I think I think a single um, like microchip, like the whatever the six five zero two, or like ooh, getting a little, just a, a little one. microchip hidden on some part, you know. It's not a bad one. Yeah, back six, of the neck or six five zero two would be very appropriate because yeah. it was in the C sixty four. Yeah. And the Atari. Uh, I always thought that line. would be a really cool small tattoo that yeah. you could hide. It it's wouldn't just, have to necessarily be a really a prominent rectangle. one. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. I mean, you could put the words on it, like 6502, which you'd probably have could to. could be on the, on the wrist or just some. But it'd have to be big enough that the, you could the see lettering it. would be appropriate size. Well, but you yeah. could exaggerate it a little bit, too. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly be proportional, one. but yeah, that, that would be <laughs> a pretty cool Then one. I'll have a video game. 6507, actual, actually. Oh, for the 2600, yes. Yes, the 6507. But the generic one would be 6502. Gotcha. Right? Gotcha. Yeah. And 6510. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're all... I always you know, thought that would be kind of a knee tattoo, but... Yeah. Yep. Well, I'll think about that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is a double purpose tattoo. Yeah. Um, I got it for, got it for myself, for my 50th birthday. Yes. Which is coming up in a week or so, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. It's on October 3rd, so it's not, not yeah. yet. Yeah. Um, but also to celebrate another milestone yeah. of, um, I don't know, something I've done <laughs> or not done. Depends on your point of view. Um, so I will show you now what it is, then we'll talk about it. So there's the cat cam. Let's see if I can show this. Actually, I'm, I might bring this down. It might be easier. Oh, look at that. Seeing the whole room now. <laughs> yep. There's, there's the cat cam. Hi. <laughs> okay. So let's, uh, oh, oh, jumpy roll up. You're going to. You want, well, if I'm you... just going to roll up my... Uh... I was going to... Yeah, I guess ah, you can toes. move it. <laughs> Those are some pretty big toes. Ah! Invasion of the toes. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's still plastic on it. Yeah. So it's not... It doesn't look like exactly what it would, but... No. So... Are going to yeah. combine? Let's see. It's hard. If you want, if you stand up, I can move the camera around you. Here. You you move yeah. it. Yeah. Don't Here. pull it too why don't, far. Why don't you stand? Oh, okay. It's probably easier, so... Let me see. That's the problem. You have to point it down. There you go. And so there's just... You want to describe it? There's grass going around there. Oh. Yep. It's a little grassy scene. There you go. There it is. Oh, sorry. I'm not the best camera operator, but there you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, kitties. A run, cat. Run. <laughs> it is. New a new form. form of shaky cam footage. Correct. <laughs> Weed. <laughs> Weed. Close, close. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is grass, which is a name for weed. <laughs> but, no. Uh, kitten. <laughs> he wants treats. Ooh. The kitten is a troublemaker. So it's, um, yeah, it is a home for some insects, mm -hmm. for some bugs. Um, so it's, um, oh, let me change it back. 
um, a kind of a grass area. And it's to simulate me like walking in grass. Yeah. But the, the V in the middle, the two long um, pieces of grass uh, form a V. And that stands for vegan. Yeah. Because um, you're also coming up, having another anniversary. Coming up to my 25th anniversary of being vegan. So I thought, oh, well, there you go. Something it's appropriate, it. but it's also subtle. It's not in your face yeah. as well. And it's just like something to do for me. Yeah. And um, yeah. I, what I find kind of cool is if you're wearing like a pair of sandals or something, it kind of will just stick up above the line of, of the strap or... That's right. Yeah. 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 I like so. that. So. Uh, I was wondering if it was a vegan anniversary. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. I don't normally talk about it on the show because it's nothing to do with the show. Mm. Um, uh, oh, Thrust says weed is also called grass in Germany. Mm. Ah, there we go. So when it's healed, I'll show it again, but it's yeah. all plasticky and a little red mm -hmm. around the edges because somebody was poking me for an hour and a half with a sharp needle. <laughs> so it's understandable my foot is angry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very angry. Was it painful? Um less painful than i thought yeah i asked her okay for that area of the body yeah how would you rate it on average for you know the average person coming in in relation to the rest of the body from yeah. a one to ten one being like oh this is nothing barely, to ten is like barely feel it. stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's over and she said about a four yeah and i would say for most of it yeah it was a four yeah yeah um for the shading uh, for like the green parts, I would yeah. say it went up to about a six. It was more painful for, for parts yeah. because it was it was longer, it was more sustained. Yes. For the shading, yeah, uh, way less painful than Atari's bite. That that punctured that sent me into almost shock. Yeah, <laughs> that punctured right through his his toe. Right through my toe. Yeah, and so it's still that was recovering. Not good. Yeah, yeah. It's almost almost. There. It's almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Poor toe. Um. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Um. Nobody it's guessed. Scary. It correctly <laughs> on your foot or so did just... anyone guess it was vegan related or no, no probably not because you don't game. talk about that on the show so no. not so much at least very so, few of yeah. these people would know yeah. <laughs> that true. aspect yeah yeah uh somewhat challenging location for a first tattoo um yeah i had to lay on my stomach oh yeah and, like flat yeah and uh yeah it wasn't too bad i have very sensitive feet so i would be more it would be more of an issue of her like her touching my foot and me flinching, that would be what yeah. I would be more worried about. She said I didn't even move. I felt really? myself like like tiny ones, but they're like imperceptible to this yeah. to see it. Yeah. Um, along the Achilles tendon, that's where it was kind of more sensitive. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was fine. That's I've, surprising. I was very very frightened. <laughs> Were you of when you first started? One being painful. Yeah. So I'm like, oh. If I have to like stop, that's terrible. Yeah. Um, and two, like regretting the tattoo. Oh yeah. Um, because I have no piercings, no body modifications yeah. whatsoever. This is your very first. Very first. Which body is modification. rare to do that. Like I don't know, like at 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 almost Later? fifty. You know, like that's true. Yeah, that's yep. unusual. I would think a lot of people get oh, them young. By ITC. Yeah. Yep. Bye, ITC. Check it out later on the YouTube's. Yeah. Uh, only when he said it was an anniversary, I had the guess. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I didn't give that hint at all. Yes. Like, at all where it was or what it was. Yes. I was trying to get people to guess, but they were yeah. not into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe that's how some people end up with single pa pixel tattoos, come to think of it. Yeah. yeah. It's like you can't really regret a single pixel tattoo. That's You're, right. People have so many body imperfections already that you only you would know. Yeah. Unless it was, like, on the end of your nose or something. <laughs> that would be I weird. I don't know. That would be very strange. <laughs> Um, so let's get into other news that has nothing to do with me. Mm. Um, Quantum Tunnel uh, is going to be, let's get it to where I need to show it. It's going to be released at PRGE. Ooh. Come on down. Where is it? There's a fake box. There's the real box. Boom. Uh, Quantum Tunnel will make its debut in physical form at this year's Portland Retro Gaming <laughs> Expo. Here's a preview of the box created by Corey Remark, who I've never mm. heard of before. Um, maybe they've done boxes before. A very fun shooter, a tunnel shooter by Jared Gray West. It's the 14th game um, being announced by Atari Age. I think there's 20 total. So he's got some more to announce, but he's also got three weeks to announce them. So he's nice. Putting them out slowly as time gets closer. Um, very fun game. 
Um, you collect, uh, do you remember playing that one? You collect things as you move up and down and you collect all of the same color to oh, get the Oh yes, bonuses. I'm looking at the back of the box yes. there. Yes, I do remember that one. That one's fun. It's simple and fun. Very it's quite a fun game. Very simple and fun. And yeah. then you can bounce off the sides, but they could throw you into the walls. Yes. And the walls take away your um, energy. Yes, or, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I do. I like games. That That's a really fun game. It's a really like simple, but fun. But fun. Yeah. 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 I um, like that. I like really, like really that. great game. So. Where there's not a, a hugely complicated... The controls yeah. aren't complicated. I like Up games like that. Like nice, simple oh, controls. You have a shield as well. Y yes. Yeah. 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 yeah says finally <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's been a long time coming and also is um spies in the night two is a long time coming oh yeah and al in the discord in discord said that that is coming as well oh good oh good okay but no dates i don't think have been announced for i that think yet. thrust said finally that we're finally getting to the part where you're not talking about yourself oh. i think that's what <laughs> that works as well <laughs> when that popped up <laughs> <laughs> finally to the news finally <laughs> And uh, in relation to uh, Thomas, um, and relation to the Stella console, mm. the as of yet unnamed Stella console. Yeah. Uh, big massive news today, three hours ago. Okay. Um, Dirty Harry posted this to give context. Oh, I'm gonna make that bigger. That's minuscule for everybody watching. That's a bit better. To give context to those who don't know the previous conversation, I had started a Stella branch introducing an RT, real time, Stella target that tries to address the scheduling issues I previously pointed out. Because um, before this, previously to today, all the games that were being emulated through the Raspberry Pi um, were playing uh, using Stella, were playing at about 75% speed. Okay. Um, because of timing issues between the emulator and the cart reading in real time because it's done in real time as opposed to the other cartridge based new systems like Retron 77 and the 2600 plus this one will read in real time this new console that made okay. by the community nice and the big deal about that is that it'll support all the cartridges, Ooh. even the SD based cartridges Ooh. and the advanced cartridges with Ooh, ARM chips, and et cetera, nice. et cetera, et cetera. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so that's why this is a huge, huge deal. Um, it replaces almost all the mute X's with spin locks. Never heard those before in my life. <laughs> um, so I can't tell you about it. And runs the emulation core on a thread with real time priority that never voluntarily yields control to the scheduler. The thread runs continuously and is only briefly put into a busy wait loop while the main thread handles events and copies out the next frame for rendering. Mm. Al Nefer has retested his bit, banging code with RT Stella, and cartridges now run at full speed. Wow. That's awesome. Provided the bit banging code uses a delay that is sufficiently precise and small because you also have to time up the cartridge with Stella at this, like everything has to be like, boom, 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 like, boom, like perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay. Otherwise, if the timing's off, there's a slow, there's a delay, things are yeah. missed, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, now, Al Nefer, to address your last message, I'm positively surprised that the first attempt already results in full speed. The fact that you need to rely on a sufficiently short delay is not surprising. The full time for a bus cycle must not be longer than one 1.8 megahertz delay per yeah. simulation. That's very, very fast. <laughs> one one millionth of uh, a delay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you can never get uh, one one millionth of a second megahertz. Yeah. Uh, I suspect uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm surprised that the plus cart requires longer delays. The code for some, so a lot more details in here. Yeah. Uh, regarding RT Stell, the next thing I want to do is remove various batching optimizations that we do, which batch TIA and riot cycles that execute them in bigger chunks. Usually those are an improvement as they improve cache locality and reduce the time spent on loops. But in our case, I think removing them will give better and more predictable spread of processing time over individual bus cycles. After that, we should try and get audio working properly. It is already working fine with some popping and underruns on my end, but that still is an ARM 64 Ubuntu VM on a M1 Mac, and the real one thing will likely behave differently. After that, build root. There we go. So huge, huge update um, for RT Stella, Stella RT, whatever it's going to be called. They haven't mm -hmm. decided on a name yet. 
it's going to have Stella in it, most likely. Most things are pointing to having Stella in the name of the console. Okay. Because it's built on Stella. And, okay. and people that are working on it are the Stella team, like Thomas yeah. and Dirty Harry. Nice. Um, so it's very, very exciting. And like you weren't here for it, but it's you can make it yourself. Yes. Right now. Yes, yes. I know. It's off the shelf components. That's it's cool. a Raspberry Pi. It's a board. Yeah. Um, obviously, they're going to do a, um, a printed board mm -hmm. eventually. Mm -hmm. And then you could make that easier. Make yeah. it easier. You can get it printed yourself and populate it yourself and then plug in the nice. Raspberry Pi. Nice. And there's cartridge adapters available for. Oh, really? Uh, available. Yeah. You just oh, buy them. You just buy the cartridge adapters. Wow. And then I expect that there'd be a um, 3D printed mold for the for the case mm -hmm. that you could get printed out. Or and, I'll, just, uh, I'll just pour sparkly resin all over the board there, and there, there. you go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just encase it just in resin. Just encase it in resin. Hopefully it's uh, all working. Yeah. And no no <laughs> physical upgrades are needed. Uh, once it's encased in sparkly resin. So. You're done. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the, the, also the cost is going to be probably quite low okay like the cost of materials is all next to nothing mm. i think the biggest cost is the raspberry pi and they're still working out which uh it'd be nice to put that in thing too, <laughs> it? hey you never know uh mm. so the, they might be cheap used <laughs> eventually that would be nice to put it in there then those cases can, are gorgeous yeah because then you can hook it up to the switches yes as well true, which true. you would which you would want and i'd not sure they've done any work on that, but or if there's any pins left over for switches. Mm. I don't think there's anything been talked about that yet because okay. that's that's not necessary yet in the future. Yeah. So really exciting, yeah. really really exciting. So the first game we're going to be playing is uh, Druidarium by Christoph Klukseg. Uh that's how you say it. Probably Druidarium. not. Druidarium. Okay. Druidarium. I'm trying to picture what that's about, but uh, druids, I don't know, running yeah. through a maze. Um... Yeah. Yep. Very, very close. Um, <laughs> uh, Christoph, like uh, as you might know, has made the game Robot, Robo Mechanic for the 2600 and Stripes of Terror for the okay. 2600. People are very um, anticipatory for Robo Mechanic because it's unbelievable game mm -hmm. for the 2600. That was one of very early games we played. Um, unfortunately, um, Christoph has not been in the Atari Age forum since August last year. Oh, okay. And, uh, nobody's really been able to get a hold of him. Oh. So mm. he hasn't put anything out either. That's kind of, uh, yeah, sorry about the high pitch noise. I was going to, I was going to ask you, is something running a little, it's, oh, it's um, that. Actually might have to make, put it into more noises. What? Oh. Um, because the fan on this thing is, yeah. That's even worse. <laughs> From the cat cam. One second. We're trying to fix it. Oh my goodness. That is loud. It's angry. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my. <laughs> Girl G, that's much worse. I don't know if I can shield the microphone. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fans are very bad on it. Okay. I actually bought a new fan. It's, it needs an eight eight inch fan okay. to go in the back of it. Okay. And then I opened it up and went, oh my God, it has, this, it has different plug than oh, the one I bought. Oh no. Um, and also a different number of wires going to it oh, than the one no. I bought. It has three wires and it, yeah. Tiny white plug, and this has a big chunky plug. Oh, so you're, I, you're trying to get the fan replaced then. Yeah. So I'm going to have to write the, the people who made it because I cannot find that end to the fan anywhere. Oh, no. Um, I guess I could buy one and then solder it, but oh. I'd just rather just buy it. So I'm going to have to. Yeah, the cats are running away. Mm -hmm. they're, they're in the hallway, and Atari is like his ears back, and he's like looking. Yeah, they're not head sideways. They're, they're like, we're impressed. gonna wait here until the treats come out because we're not too happy with that noise. You can come back in, come back in. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's that's, okay. Uh, that's not a good message. Oh no, what message was that? Uh, that the hard, that um, one. It's not recording. And then I looked at it, and it's not even visible. What? To the computer. That that hard drive. 
Oh, raid. No. I'm going to power it down and then power back up. Hope for the best. Jeez. The recording stopped. Um, because I record onto the raid. Okay. Oh boy. I mean, it is recording on Twitch. Can you get it off of Twitch? Oh yeah, I can get it off okay. of Twitch. Okay, so that's okay. Yeah, that was a f um, fan alarm saying that the fans are Dying? troublesome. Uh, oh well. boy. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Slight IT break. Okay, it's not coming back. So I'm just going to turn it off because it's noisy. Okay, you'll just have to get the stream from Twitch. Yes. Okay. Just have to get the stream from Twitch. So if there's things missing, like animations, they may have been on that hard drive. Oh but no! We should be good. Okay. Okay. We should be good. Jeez. Okay. Let's get into the game. Uh, troubles. I mean, that's been that's been going on for a while, but um, trying to fix it. Okay. Uh, pink. Sure. Uh, we're still we're go. still broadcasting, right? Still All broadcasting. Okay, just not recording just sure. locally. That's yeah. the issue. I think everyone sh uh, turned off because of that high pitched noise. Ran away. <laughs> I think that might have happened. So if you can load up, sorry, peoples. Okay, we're back. We're back. Uh, this place second place in the last silly Ooh, venture. Ooh, look at that. Oh, not the last one. 2018. Volumes. Nice. Oh, color change. Yeah. Oh, very nice. work in progress. This was never finished. Um, programming graphics and music by Christoph. Splash image by uh, Jose. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. No, oh, fine. okay. Okay, never mind. It's just the, uh, the druid woke up with a start. Something was wrong. The bats were mad and... And from a hill, he noticed skeletons, ghosts, and wraiths swarming the village, the forest, and as far as the eye can see, as far as he can see. Yeah, people are saying Sorry. the cat cam is flashing through me once in a while. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Okay. I think I need a new computer. I think you do. There's a. It's been <laughs> crashing every day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, new computer's coming. Sometimes yeah. Soon. Yeah, yeah. That has better ability for USB, yeah. more capacity. So far, it's fine. It's all good. Now. Yeah. I do have to fix my raid array. Okay, press button. All right. There was no time. He must have at once go find the scrolls of power and the four orbs to restore peace in the world. Good luck. So that. Four orbs to restore peace. And scrolls. And the scroll of scrolls scrolls of power. Okay. And there's also and little uh, leafy things. Okay. And that restores your health. Okay. Good. Good to You have up for jump button for a uh, shoot. I would start. Yeah. That T is really hard to read. Oh, this is. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Ah. There we go. Ah. Um. So, KK, first off, um, responded to some questions about this game because it's very hard to find any information or instructions about this game. I mean, it's very straightforward. It's, it's oh, a, so your health is in the top left in the green part. <laughs> so every time you touch something, you lose a little bit. Yeah. If you stay over it, or if it's constantly attacking you, um, then you it constantly goes down. Your health. So if you get stuck, run away or jump out of the way. These take one hit, but not but everything. Things as it progresses take more and more hits. Um. Responding to some questions. NTC was supported, but right now it's not due to code not optimized enough before Silly Venture Deadline, but it's still on the list. The music uses just three channels. Fourth is dedicated to uh, future sound effects. So people are saying, oh, there's no sound effects in this game. And and some another person responded, well, a lot of, a lot of games uh, for the 8-bit scene, they forego sound in the game to dedicate it to music in the game to use all the channels for the music. And that's what somebody uh, presumed that was going on. And th I found that in a lot of C64 games as well. It's, it's just music. There's no sound. Or the option to switch from music to sound, but never both at the same time. Because C64 only had three channels. This has four channels. 
Um, I didn't plan the multicolor sprites, especially that they are coupled with missiles, making things quite tricky and it would limit the number of things. So they do infinitely respawn. So yeah, no, it's pointless. I that. You have to like, keep running. Like if you're shooting backwards and you're not going that way, it's pointless. They're just very, very much um, like ghosts and goblins. Huge leader reminds. I'm sure everybody things emerging from the ground, different types of enemies, especially the ghosts. They don't have the same pattern as the ghosts and ghost goblins. RMT uh, has that three music plus one effects channel feature. Ah, nice. Ah. Music's a bit loud? Okay. Like Thank you for letting me know, Thomas. Check, check. Can I kill this guy? You can oh, kill everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Takes a lot of hits, though. So you found <laughs> one lightning bolt so far? Or nothing? No lightning bolts. Nothing. Okay. I, didn't, you know, I think you missed something. a whole section underground back there. How do you go underground? Well, you just fall down. I didn't There's think there was anything. There. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. I missed you that. You will have to. Um, the name is Druidarium. The screen has a typo. Uh, deadlines again. So it's it's missing the, uh, the I in the title screen. So it just says Druidarium. Druid There's a folder. Or okay. uh, orb. There you go. Oh! You've got one orb now. Change color. Oh my goodness, these guys. I think that color might be tied to the, um, the screensaver. Yeah, There's one scroll. Yeah, very fun um, killing effect where they fall into the ground, disintegrate into the ground. Everything about this game is really, really nice. Caught in wall, he's caught in wall. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, uh, no! Pit of death. Try it again. Um, cool. See, there's missing eye in the title screen. Oh, he's like, deadlines, I ah, could fix it. Uh, it's still, I knew it, is, it was Druid. I, I mentally put the eye in, so no worries. So when you. I'm trying to see, because I, um, I fell down and I didn't mean to. See, the, all, like here, yeah. I've missed all this upper stuff. Uh, oh, you fell down. Yeah. Okay, you missed a bunch of stuff. On the, the top, the for sure. And, and bottom. Really? Too. Okay. It's everywhere, so you have to yeah. make sure you... I just wasn't sure where I should start. Explore all the areas. The picture is a conversion with off-the-shelf font. Uh, the druidarium in, in the text is not stylized, just modern space. Um, he says, I can I can have mo enemy, enemies moving up and down. They just would need extra logic to reserve a sprite from line below and do a line transition. I'd love to have some uh, one day. Uh, the game wasn't really fast to make. Two missile positions, fourth missile is unusable, are updated every two scan lines, so explosions are done using missiles, and this system allows various spell projectiles. Just Deadline didn't allow adding more. I was wondering about different spells. I was, I was guessing this. There you go. Oh, I got that last time. Oh, you did? You? Okay. Oh, yeah. High-res sprites would be nice. Uh, would be... Twice, so, high-res sprites would be twice the pain to refresh. Also, I don't think it would add much to the visuals without the increased horizontal resolution. Guessing this is 160. Resolution. Yeah, very smooth scrolling, vertical and horizontal. Oh, there's more up there. How do we get back there, though? Have to go up all the way back. Yeah. Do you? Oh, okay. So there, there is backtracking in this game a little bit. And the fact that you have to explore the you upper find and lower. You're like, darn. Yeah, you're like, oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. I find doing the... I don't know. Because if you do the upper first, you can drop down sometimes. Well. But sometimes the lower is segmented off and you have to go back around. Press and do left. There we go. So you can only jump up one level. Yes. So keep that in mind as you go through this. That you can't go further up, even though some it's like, oh, maybe I can make it. No, you cannot. You can jump pretty far horizontally, though, more than you'd expect. Yeah. Uh, this is on the Atari 8-bit system, 8-bit computer. 
not sure of what it needs, but uh, the game is only 37k, so you could probably do it on a, um, the stock 64k system. Yay! One out of four! It's called Druidarium. Joshua Turbo, thanks for joining us. Ah! Oh, 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 he took so much out of me. Half your life. Uh, Did he appear? Or you yeah, he appeared. Oh, I kind of jumped no. into him. And this one uh, is from November 3rd, 2018. Um, it was entered into the 2018 Silly Venture contest and came in second. Well deserved. Super fun. And it has a lot of variations in the world. In the worlds at the beginning, you can select different worlds. I am guessing they are generated worlds. Um, you don't lose anything by shooting, right? No. It doesn't use up any energy. Oh, name of the zone. Yeah, this is the forest. So. Ah! Take a lot of hits. They do. Orbs, and this will be your second or first. I just dropped it. So many hit points, or so many shots. <laughs> Welcome back, Tanya. The show was so weird without you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Broadcaster says, just kidding. We love you both. <laughs> Tip, avoid the ghosty things. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, Bo Bosiana uh, confirms the worlds are procedurally generated. That's awesome. Oh boy, oh, these are guys are horrible. How do I get back up there? I think I have to go to the bottom. Oh, God, that's awful. So you have to lure them. I can't go down here. Rapid hitting. Oh, at least you have an out. Don't bother shooting things where you're not going. No, I have to. I have to not get hit. Well, you have it's a little all... shelf there to jump Oh my god, on. there's like three of them, but I can't I can't jump down. Do you see? Oh, they hang. you have to leave they... them. Oh god, they're free. I don't know how. <laughs> I think I think you have to go backwards. Like up and around? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think they've they've made it so that you're kind of screwed. Um, they... Ah! Oh. They respawn so fast. Do you want the, um, the, ga the game is procedurally it's generated, but with a seed, I believe, because this level is the same every time. Like oh, world I see. zero zero. Yes. Like right. there's there's the first one. So you can memorize um, the world if you. Mm -hmm. okay, you like, yeah, like your levels will always be the same, but yeah, yeah, procedurally generated based, based on, on a seed. Yeah. yeah. Number of the world is a seed. Neat. Oh, like zeros. It uses zero zero, zero, zero. to create it. Yeah. Well, that's that's makes that it easy. That is cool. Rather than having a convoluted seed um, and then just calling that it gives zero, you a zero. lot of diversity in your levels, so that's cool. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know how many worlds there are, but and I'm sure there are quite a few. There's two digits. Goes up to ninety nine. What is he shooting at them? They're like a uh... spinning. I don't know. Is that what things. the is that what the scrolls are? Do they give you no. your shot? No. Okay. No. You have I was gonna say shots. they were um, um lightning, but uh, I don't know. And it, it sounds like he planned to have other weapons, which makes sense because there is um oh, oh, terrible. other like more difficult characters to shoot, and it oh, my oh God, don't that run was over terrible. him. <laughs> I thought it was on the other side of him. So you haven't found any leaves leaves yet, have they? 256 worlds are available. Oh, wow. Wow! Okay, we'll have to pick another random world then. Yes. Just to, just to show off and see. How, what How it cool. Do. Wow. That's very impressive. That's uh, that's a long play game. Can... Yeah. Oh. Yay, you need Orbeez. Leaf. You need a leaf. Where are the leaves? Oh, it takes so many shots to kill. Well, it doesn't give you any help though, unfortunately. No, it's just a requirement that you have to get four scrolls. Get 
getting back, so go down and you gotta, you gotta get, yeah, there you go. I couldn't get past her because three kept respawning. <gasps> That's so bad. Oh no. Oh, I'm like. You have to go way back one now. One. You have to go way left. back now. Yeah, up to there. Oh, one, two, three, four, right? So where was the scroll? Oh, there's a leaf. Yay! A little bit of a little bit of health. A little bit of health. Not a lot of health, but a little bit. Ah. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> More leaves! Oh my goodness, Yay. you were just at the point. Just at the point to get more leaves. Ah! Ooh, an orb and a thingy, but you can't jump up that high. Ah! Jump! Oh good. Back right. Yeah, those um Reapers are pretty hard. Yeah, and we're not even to the point where the enemies shoot yet. Yes, there is a point coming soon. I've got three boulders and I, oh, oh, let's get that off before I. Uh... Yeah, I didn't lose much health. Yeah, so you I just have to boulder. hit it really fast. Don't fear the reapers. I was uh, waiting. Uh, I was uh, waiting for that comment. Oh, shooting Thank you, Carl G. <laughs> uh, I do fear the reapers. Oh, I fear those guys even more. They, they shoot. shoot. <gasps> it's the ones that walk, and you end up accidentally walking like through them. Yep. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is actually the most challenging, is jumping properly. Oh, stop! Yeah, it is. It is very hard. Oh! oh what? What Somebody hit you? Oh, I might have well, you, jumped it, too I high. I think you, 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 you kind of caught your head on a stick. Pick so, another one. So we can do... Okay, it's a uh, hex nest. Should I try ZP? Uh, no, there's no Z. And no P. Okay. <laughs> uh, B2, sure. That's a long hit. Let's not go there just yet. I may not be able to get up here. That's too far. Nope. Oh, no oh, let's try this. Ah! This direction. Oh, let's not get that yet. Cause no, because you might full need health. it. Yeah. What? Oh. There we yeah, go. It didn't quite uh, trigger. It didn't pick up. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Now we get it. Else here. I think there's. Oh my god. There's so it's many. where all the health is, apparently. Oh, I might as well get it. Yeah. Hi! Are you wanting food? I think at some point we're gonna have to break into Maybe these guys' this. streets after this. This game? This game. This guy. Oh my goodness. Uh, should I get that? No. Look how excited he's he is. Yep. 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 He's giving me a. Uh... Hi. I know what you want. I do. Yeah, I think it's divided into four sections. Okay. And each section has an orb. Oh, gotcha. And that a makes lightning. Sense. So once you get it, you can be like confident that you got it. See, there's. An or there's orb and a squirrel, because you're in the scrolling. village. Yeah. And then there's the woods. And then I wasn't paying attention to what... The east path. Okay. Ah, can't get it. I'm guessing it guar yeah, guarantees you can get to everywhere. It would have to. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's impossible. Things pop up just like in Ghosts and Goblins. Ah, it's terrible. Ghosts and Goblins gives you a little bit more time, like, to see the enemy yeah. coming up. I'd love to have such a game in the 80s, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, procedurally generated game, so you have, like, almost infinite screens to conquer. So good. I love the idea of procedurally generated games. But, like, like this one where it's seeds. Um, so you can go back and try and conquer each one. It's not just, like, random. They things. respawn way too fast sometimes. Ah. <gasps> Two! Come on. Come on. Oh my god. There you go. Ah, let's just get out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run away. Oh, I need some health. Ah. All the health was at the beginning, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. 
Hopefully it's not like, oh, you get four the whole game. I, it could be. It very, uh, oh, there's your uh, orb. But you can't get up there. You're going to have to go past, I think. And then come back. <gasps> oh, no. oh, there's a, there's a leaf. Good. It very badly. He's going to respawn really fast, I bet you, once he can. Go. Oh, I can't be familiar. Oh, there's I'm another so one. I think I've got all the scrolls now. I need, to, I need a lot of orbs. There is an orb that you have to backtrack on, right? Oh, yeah. Because I missed the hole up there earlier. Yeah. This is the cemetery. Oh. No, you have to jump. Oh, I can't. how do you get back up? Oh, there? I can, actually. I think you can. I'm in so much trouble now. Yes, you are. Can you go across the bottom? Yeah. No, no, I meant to the, to the right to get back up nope. there. No? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I'm so much trouble. Yeah, that's easier. Awesome. Uh, you might be able to. <gasps> Damn it! Damn uh, it! Oh, that's rough. Ah. We'll play one more. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll choose a different world. Uh, D. <laughs> sure. Ah, yay. Yay, two of them right away. Oh, why did I get that? Oh, uh, that's okay. Hopefully there's more spread out. Oh, no ground area. It's that little one at the beginning so far. Makes it very easy. Oh, or... How it, oh, how it shifts okay. and changes. It, I mean, it says it at the top. Oh. There's much in my game. No, no below ground areas. Maybe there is. I don't know. No, it's all to, surface. You get to the end and you have to backtrack all oh, the way back. No, no, I no I'm kidding. <laughs> I Maybe. Don't. You never know. Make it. Oh, yeah. I knew you yeah. had to go up there. Remember, there's the whole underground area, but you can backtrack through it. Yeah. Dark woods. Okay. I think I'm going to do the whole upper area first. I am glad that they stay on their level. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was maybe planning to do ones that, um, that don't fall? stay on their level. Yeah. Oh, oh right no. to the bottom. It's okay. Go right back. It's probably stuff oh, beneath you. Uh -huh. Swamp now. Uh, Interesting. That must be, that's the fourth area, swamp? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you had to go there anyway. Uh, you might as well backtrack all the way. Because I don't think you found the orb associated to the deep woods or whatever it was called. Ah! <gasps> it's worse. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Go now. Yeah, if you wait too long, they all spawn, and then you're really screwed. Yeah. If you keep moving, like, they Dark only woods, spawn... Okay. Well, some of them are there already. Yeah, it is a lot of backtracking underground. Still can't make nope, There that's we it. go. Okay. That's that's a whole underground. That's okay. a whole underground. Oh ah, those gosh. guys. Those guys get you so bad. They, they tend to follow you. Not follow you, but. Yep. Oh, stop it! Fall down this time. Oof. All the scrolls? What? Yeah, it looks like it. What do I do here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go off the screen and come back. Oh. You don't have to go too far, do you? I don't know. No, they're, ah! all, they're all still there. Are they? No, they're not. Ah, oh, now he's there. There, go. There you go. There's not much you can do. Damn it! So hard! <laughs> you have to run through this game like the wind stopping for a while. Any, yes. It's anytime. asking for, you just gotta keep pushing. Oh, I wanna finish one. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's do that one. Okay. Because it was very, pretty straightforward. Like in terms of up, up, up and below. Yeah. 
a lot of tiny music, little platforms. Music, fantastic, there. by the way. I really like the music. Oh, it keeps so pushing good. you forward. Um, Speed running your way through. His music is so good, and it robo mechanic. It's uh, very similar to this one. If not, it's up. Spot. Actually, yeah, because if you get everything on the upper part, you can just drop down exactly. and get that last ball. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Uh, <sighs> things get in my way when I'm trying to jump. Yeah, that's, those are pretty big jumps. Or with one, one spot for landing on. Stop it! No! Oh, oh, oh. You're ah. in a different area now. Cemetery. With these guys that shoot, but they don't track you. Not like the Reapers. I'm so low on health! There's gotta be some leaves somewhere. I've seen zero. There's gotta be some. There! <gasps> Fine. Oh. And one more. Yeah! And a third! Oof, just, just when you need them. Okay, I'm going to go down. You have to go down. down. <gasps> He's hitting you. Oh. oh, I'm so low on health now. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another leaf there. There's another leaf if you go around. Around? Yeah, there's a leaf there. No, that's like underground. I have to... You just have to no. find a drop point. That's all. No. No? I'm going, I'm going okay. all underground this way. You do. You do. You. Yep. It's all good. Oh, you need that leaf. Yeah. What? What just killed me? Yeah, something shot. Skeleton. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Um, really good game. Awesome game. Very, very challenging. Yeah. Um, pretty fun. And obviously, massively replayable. Mm -hmm. I really hope he comes back to this, and maybe puts in the um, weapon upgrades. It's treat time. Oh, oh it's yum, treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Treat time for little kitties. Are you ready, kitties? Are ready to rumble? Ready? Oh, Let's get, get some excited. Get everything set up. Close the door. Nope. Stay, stay. He always wants to run out the door, which is really funny. There you go. You have two minutes. To bet on the cats. Is it on the screen? Oh no, you haven't clicked it yet. It's on their screen anyway. Ah, uh, ah. There we go. So just click at the top, pick your cat, top of the chat. If you don't see it, then you probably have some ad blockers in that are getting rid of it. Nice. Oh, oh people oh. are betting already. All right. Uh, one bet on Sprite. 20 points. 20 channel points. Two bets on Sprite. A lot of bets on Sprite. Hey, Spritey fans. Scared of something over there. Oh, really? The beeping noise? I think you've, I think you've uh, traumatized I've got, I've them. i got rid of the beeping noise. I know, but they're scared it's going to come back. <laughs> I think they hit yet. Yeah. Uh, you got about a minute left for bets. Oh, oh four nice. points on Sprite. Everybody's going for Sprite. I know. He's, 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 he's a definitely solid the choice. favorite. He's definitely the favorite. Atari, are you ready though? Atari's the Atari underdog. has been pretty beggy. Under, is he under cat? Under cat, yes. Test. <laughs> Thomas is doing a lag test. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you bet on Atari, you get all the sprite points. But he may not win, and he usually doesn't. Sprite, listen, Rodcastler <laughs> says, I have a lot of hopes in you. Don't ruin my Friday. Heard that sprite? He's a sure bet, though. He's a sure bet, but you never know. Atari pulls yeah. it out about one out of every five or yeah. six, six times. He'll 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 get in there. So you have about thirty seconds left. Yep. Well, I use this opportunity to change out the cartridge to the next game. There we go. Five K to ten K. Mm. Oh wow! Some people are betting big on you, Atari. Ten K. Wow. 
Uh, two people. One person's going for all the sprite All points. the sprite points, eh? If Atari wins. Yeah. And two seconds. Atari's, they, they, a lot of people are, are voting on Atari, though. Okay. Yeah. Forget what you're scared of over there. Oh, no. S Sprite's scared. He's. I don't know what's going on with him. He might be distracted. Him. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready? Are you ready, cats? Sprite. <laughs> over ready? here. Over and here. go. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, who's that? Sprite. Oh, no. Here, Sprite. That was you. So Sprite got one. Yeah, Sprite is one. Oh, there. Atari, Atari good job. Thank you for following Mega Man of Dr. Light. Dr. Dr. Light 78. Oh, good. Oh, good Atari. 2-1 Atari. for Atari. A little harder. A little harder. Good kitty. Okay, good good Sprite. Good Sprite. Oh, oh. Carter. Oh, oh, I, I heard, heard it. That. I heard it. There you go. Atari brings it with three points. I think he hit the bell with his claw. It's hard to know. It, it made is. the same noise. We have to give it to him. Good, good Atari. Atari's wow. in the lead still. Four, three. Oh, don't run away. Rockcaster says, Sprite is distracted. Let's do this again tomorrow. Stop. <laughs> He's scared. Good. Oh, uh, Sprite is still lagging oh, behind sorry. a little bit. Nope. Got to ring it. Nope. A little harder. A little harder. There good we kitty. go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sprite's back. He's licking his paw. He's he's being delayed. He's distracted. Oh, he gets it in. Five. He's lagging behind a little bit more now. Good. Oh, very strong ring from Atari. Sprite is very fast. Did he? Oh, I heard it. Sprite heard ties it, too. it up with six. Come on, you got to ring the bell for the treats. Oh no, you missed. A little harder. There you go. Very solid ring from Atari. Oh, Sprite is catching up a little bit. He's still behind, but he's catching up. Keep going. Keep going. Hit the bell. Too few cats. Oh, oh. oh Sprite gets ahead. And oh, Atari, Atari is now a little bit behind. So it's tied at eight. Oh, Sprite brings it to nine. It's game point. It is game point for both cats. It's about who eats it. Who's less distracted? Oh, oh Sprite. Sprite oh, my goodness. In the end. Wow, that was really like neck and neck the whole time. Right Atari. in the end. Right in the end. Rod Castler is very happy. Trust, oh very happy. Prowl's very happy. <laughs> Ooh, that oh, was my goodness. Very, that was one of the closest, I think. Yes. At the edge of my seat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dole out the, the points. All right. Sprite wins again. Oh, my gosh. Neck and neck. Crazy. Let's see. Production prediction is right. Yeah, he Let's, did get better. Atari really got a lot better. Yeah, so very sixteen thousand points go to Carl G. Wow, the big Carl G. Uh, so how many did Carl G. bet? He voted with four thousand. Nice. And he got a very good return. Very good return. Well, not all sixteen, right? Sixteen goes to everyone. Everyone. Yeah. But Carl G. voted four thousand out of the five point two. Okay, so he's so getting a nice chunk of that. Very big chunk of the sixteen. Very 000. nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job, peoples. Good yep. job, cats. Good job, cats. Sorry, Atari. Oh my goodness, you're so close. You were you were doing you're so well. So close. Yep. Better luck next time. Yeah. No, no, I gotta start betting more bits. <laughs> well, don't bet too many bits because if you lose them all, then you can't trigger the treat. That's right. Time. So make sure you have <laughs> so. enough in reserve. Yes. That you can still trigger it. Yeah. And bet. Don't yes. go too crazy. Good job. Good job, kitties. Good job. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next game. Switch it over, which is Mr. Mr. Hop. And uh, this is a game made by Bosianu, who is in the chat today. This is from February 5th, 2019. Um, he also made Cartfall, Flob, both amazing games. Dirt Rally Spe Speedway, which we have not played on the show. Pop and Drop, we haven't played that. Pac-Mad, nope. Uh, so we have a lot more to play by Bosiana. Mm -hmm. um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, if you want to load it up, press to the left on the button to go. Hey, hey. Oh, me? Yep, not the cats. I thought you were t telling them to load oh, it no. up. Like, if you want to load you want it to up. you want to play along. The way, the way your <laughs> intonation went, I thought you were still telling them. I'll, I'll uh, address you starting with Tanya. It's left, right? It's left. like... Uh, Hello, uh, Google. Whatever. Yes, what are we playing? Mr. Hop? Mr. Hop. Okay, I was reading, I was looking in the chat, so. <laughs> and and the cats were distracting me, too. Go for All it. All right. 
Ooh. Very nice graphics. Look at, Look that, at that background. Speedboat. Ooh. Got some multi scrolling parallax going on. Got uh, at least three, four levels. We've got the uh, mm -hmm. thing up front with the posts. We've got the water is different. Mm -hmm. The city and then the clouds. Really Four nice. levels of parallax. Uh, it says this mini game was created for the 6502 comp, uh, competition, where the size of all productions uh, was limited to 6,502 bytes. Uh, and this comes in at six, almost exactly. Mm. Uh, so our little thing doesn't even even exceed 6.5 kilobytes. It has quite nice graphics, parallax effect, smooth animation, even rudimentary sound effects. Game involves jumping over emerging obstacles. We adjust the jump height by holding the fire button for a shorter or longer time. Mm. Additionally, along the way, we can find bonuses that rebuild our energy. The aim of the game, of course, is to achieve the highest score possible. Uh, the guys from Retro Nagaza wrote an interesting review of my game, and you can see it here. And I'll read it out after. So you can press fire to start. So remember, hold down the button. You can hold it down any time, so you can build it up. Uh, yeah, you need to hold it down well in advance. Sorry, but hold down the button, then let it go to jump. Nope. Oh, I see. Don't. Okay, no, 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 I understand. And then it don't just... run into the blocks, and you want to collect that um, Oh my goodness. to get more health. That is hard. The spinning uh, cube. Yeah. Nope, too oh. late. So it's kind of at a 45 degree angle, I would say. There you go. Nope. I would just hold it down imme immediately for the, the whole time. Then you get max. max so it's, 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 it's about timing the release, really. Yes. And you want to get that, because you're almost out of health. Well, easier said than done. I'm still getting used to the, the controls. Sure. Uh, and the review is, is a little bit crazy, but I'll read it out. Uh, today we spontaneously present, this is translated as well, the six and a half kilo Mr. Hop. Let me tell you, for its small size, it's quite nice and playable Atari novelty. Welcome to the next episode of We Play on Gaza. Now, the occasion for our reunion is quite modest, but on the other hand, quite nice. Unexpectedly, our friend uh, Wojtek Boshianu, oh, there's his real name. <laughs> I've never had his real name. I'll have to put it in my notes. And I'm pronouncing it terribly, too, so I'll skip over that. The creator of several interesting games for Atari, including Pac-Man, described here. At the same time, a talented musician attacked Atari XLXE with his latest mini-production. Ooh. Yeah. Oof. Almost done. Uh, why mini? Attention, attention. It takes up less than six and a half kilobytes. It's hard. Oh. Younger readers probably don't even know how little it is. A little, a little nothing. Therefore, the graphics in this game are probably just a line and a dot, a two balls and a cannon. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Mr. Hop, visually considering the size of the code, is simply a masterpiece. No wonder because the author was helped to create it by one of the most talented small bit grafters, graphic designers, a certain PSU. PSU? Uh, and what genre does this title belong to? Well, it is known that is... It was impossible to fit extensive mechanics into such an amount of kilobytes, and Mr. Hop is a one-button game. That is, known and liked from phones, and probably too absent uh, so far uh, for a single-button runner. It simply involves, so this is an endless runner genre, um, it simply involves running, jumping, and scoring as high, possible, high as possible. Uh, okay, we've sweetened up the boys a bit. It's time to move on to the next point of the program. Mr. Hop. Who is this young man and what is he running after? <laughs> Dreaming, I guess. In the story below, I use the graphics, which don't feel, fit well for the story, but I like them very much. I just wanted you to see them. Cool, right? So see how we run and jump with our hero. Oh, it's, it's very hard to... I think Some you, of them you are almost, you have to, you will fail on them. I think so. Them. So it's about um, collecting as much the as upgrades you can. But, and avoiding as much as you can. Got it. Yeah. I think you could probably maintain it if you're um, careful about it. Yeah, perfect. You're back up to uh, fullish level. Yeah, because like you can you can take a hit. Yeah. Especially if you're getting the health upgrade. Oh, a little early. Oh, pretty good still. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, but it's like sometimes you have to take the hit. <laughs> He jumps exactly how I wanted to jump as a kid, almost like flying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dream of flying, almost. Been having some trouble the with color, my... Yeah, with my... I was just about to say that. It's... Remember I was talking... 
before to the audience a couple of shows ago about the color of my Atari 8-bit and it's like yellowish and it's gone that way how would you even get past that oh my goodness and so something is like oh no I made a mistake the color <laughs> bad and it's something loose in the Atari Ugh. yeah these ones are like impossible they are impossible. Oh. They are impossible. I, I hit the one on the back end. To too. completely clear. Moon yeah. jump. It's getting wider and wider. Oh, so do you have to do cool. two jumps then? Oh, I don't think you can, can you? Don't you have to hold it? Yeah, you have to hold it, but then you wouldn't have enough time for the second jump. I'm no. Totally messed up. <laughs> That's okay, but yeah. Because I was playing around with it. So maybe it's just about maintaining. Mm. Yeah, it's very yellow. It went very yellow. Oh, he said, yeah, they're impossible. To... Yeah, I figured that's intentional because otherwise you would just float over everything all the yeah, time. Yeah, because if like you can jump Like getting this, you're going to hit that back one. A little you bit. You have no choice, but it's probably worth getting the... Um... Yeah. Then you also have the decision. It's like, should I get the spinny thing or should I avoid? Like that was that was impossible to avoid. Yeah, this one too looks pretty hard. Uh, oh, just you got it. it. Good job. It's like, do you go for the gold thing? Or, yeah, you you just made just. that. Impossible. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> Especially when the last Rangers. one is a three. Ah, I need it. Oh, and I cleared it. Wow. Yeah, the last one being a three, you have to jump the very last second and hope the first one is a one. Yeah. Oof. Skirt my toes from Tight. years of uh, wall jump ninja. Yeah, and you'll hit the back one. Yeah. So sometimes so was... I think you make the decision, I'll hit the first one to try and avoid the last one. Yes. But yeah. Ooh, ooh, oh, almost. Yeah, some I think are almost impossible, but maybe, mm. maybe they're not. Like this one. One line of power available. Yeah. Um. What ridiculousness is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh no you need some gold can you jump and jump no i don't think you can oh uh, uh, that, that's hard yeah let's show like if i just tap it that's how much you jump if i hold it down for like any length of time you get a maximum mm -hmm. jump like it doesn't take much to build it up so maybe you can do a jump and a jump well this is not a good start <laughs> oh that's an easy one Yeah, so it's your your system. That's why the color temperature suddenly changed. I haven't narrowed it down okay. completely yet. Um, where the problem lies, maybe it's in a SCART connector. Maybe it's the output of the Atari. Okay. Um, I don't notice any issues when I have the SCART connector on the Jaguar, which also uses everything the same up to a certain point as the 8-bit so i'm assuming it's inside the atari like a loose one of the, um, one of the con oh my god one of the connectors that's terrible but i'll have to check and also i recently got the sub average cart yes um which allows an add-on well for stereo sound out of the Atari 8-bit, mm. which is why I bought it. It has a lot of other awesome features, too. Um, damn it. But because I'm using SCART for the video output, which includes audio, oh, um, I need to somehow wire that in so I get the audio separately through RCAs into the retro tank. Um, it can, it does have uh, left and right in for the retro tank, but you can't mix and match SCART and RCA uh, audio okay. on the retro tank. On the retro tank. Theoretically, it's completely possible, but they don't have that as part of the features. Mm -hmm. um, so I bought something that looks like it might be able to combine. Um, uh, the left and right audio into a SCART signal, which literally is trivial. It's just finding something that somebody has made to do that. 
Um, and I bought something that looks like it will work, but I don't know if it will. Oh. It's almost a high score. Ah, 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 get it! Oh, oh good, good job. What's gonna happen? Oh my god. Well, I think you're gonna beat my high score. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, oh my god, I need, like, what do you do now? What do, do you have to do oh, two you jumps? It? And dead. And oh, dead. you just beat my high score. That's so unfair. Yeah. Good job, though. Do you want one more? Go. I'm good. good? I'm good. Yeah. Yep. Maybe just a tap jump. I'm just going to try something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can do a short one. Okay. And hold and do a long one? But the difference between a short one and a long one is so minuscule. Yeah. It's is it does it is it related to how long you hold it? Yes. Okay. Like okay, this is a tap. Tap is nothing. That was a medium. And a long one is like three seconds. Like one is already like almost maximum. Yeah. Like half a second holding it. So you have to do like a quarter of a second hold. Which you need that short amount of time because if you're going to do jump jump yeah, so it is possible to do a jump and jump. If you jump... Yeah, dead. I just wanted to... So you can do a little one. Like, that's the full. Yep. You get a full jump so after quick. a second. Half a second. Oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a full jump. And your head just goes above the green. Yeah. No, you, it, you do kind of want to hold it. It's just hard to... Um... No, it's, that, that's a full jump. It doesn't... You don't have to hold it for very long. No. That's all I wanted to test out. Yeah. Cool. Really great game. Yeah. It's so yellow. Yeah, Looks that's weird. So gross. So weird. It just all of a sudden flipped. See, it's, it's nasty. Nasty. Hmm. Rock Kessler. Ah, oh, just hop on the boat already. You'll get there nasty. faster. Oh, no. Okay, I, I, I'm running okay. back very uh, quick. Very quick. Talk then I re-plug it in, and it's fine. <laughs> uh, is that fine? Ooh, I don't think it is fine. There. <gasps> the power? What? Something something when i'm pressing it it is going nuts so i think i'm gonna have to open this up um which is oh no you guys can't see it oh now it's all yellow oh my god oh is it the power that's very strange something around the power see how it's flipping Oh my god. Okay, well you're gonna have to just deal with it. Um, I just hop on the boat already. You'll, have, you'll get there faster. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the third game of the show. Which is Robix. Robix by Raster. Put in the ABBUC contest 2010. Um, this builds from October 22nd. Uh, 2010. It's a 28k game. Um, and the graphics are done by Pseudo Graphics. Uh, and this came in fourth place in the 2010 uh, ABBUC contest uh, with 428 points. And this is a one or two player game, so that'll be fun. Let me just try and get this. Trying to trying to uh make it look nice. Okay. Is that the oh. new cart? Might might it be slurping all the power and need more amps? Is that the token? Oh. Uh it did this with the old cart. 
did it. Yeah, but it seemed to be like on permanent yellow with the old cart. Oh. But that's a good thing to try. Yeah. So try different cards, try without a cart. Yeah. Etc. Et okay, here you go. Grobex. This is another kind of endless runner. Mm. Um, but you can also shoot in this one. Uh, Robux is an arcade game for one or two players, playing simultaneously in cooperative mode, so we can both play it later. There are robots that can move, jump, fall, shoot, and crouch. They have to struggle through three main stages, containing a lot of traps and enemies that you have to beat, and kill their boss at the end of each stage. Okay. If you succeed, you can go to a final fourth stage, defended by a major enemy boss. Um, so there's different stages. You can select, jump ahead, option, pick one or two. Uh, joystick to start the game. Right and left to move. Oh, right to move the robot forward. Left to stop the robot. Okay. Up to jump. Down to crouch. Joystick to fire. So, there you go. Shoot everything. And uh, yes. Um, so I was looking into um, Raster. Uh, a uh, Radic, aka Raster, the coder for Robex, pa unfortunately passed away. Um, not too long. Ooh. Oh my god. Something's happening. That's going from bad to good. It's, it's, it's supposed to be. Oh! And. Okay. You got stuck and then got hit by a ton of things. And you just got hit by a ton of things. Yeah, again. sorry. So that's what it's supposed to look like the in blue. between the flashing. It's interesting that it's going nuts on this game. I'm dead. Mm. But I'm gonna try the uh, power suggestion. So right now I'm using a five volt USB power adapter. Uh, oh, you died. Crouch. Oh, I don't know how to. <laughs> um, yeah, he he actually the uh, author of this game. Um. Raster also created, invented the multi-joy. Oh my goodness. Um, he also created the uh, RMT music tracker, Raster music tracker. Um, a stereo pokey adapter. He w helped worked on the Atari 800 emulator. Was a talented coder, graphic designer, and musician as well. So he was very well respected in the community. The fact that it's going nuts at very specific spots. It's 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 almost like when I'm shooting. So I'm 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 just holding. And an eight digit score, yes. <laughs> very interesting. It was just at the beginning there. Hmm. It may be power related. Well that's at least easily fixed. <laughs> Thank goodness. Rather than opening it up. And I ah. <laughs> No, I I caught the edge of it. No, don't Oh my goodness. Right into the flies. I would say uh you need to be like you get hit in the air too when you're when you're when you're ah, when you're being dropped. Yes. So you lose health before you've even started playing, which is not the greatest. Ah. Just, it's just getting used to the the jumping and like the arc. And I thought this was a fascinating game because it's really an cool. endless really runner like it. shooter. It's it, an endless runner, but also a shooter at the same time. It vaguely reminds me of like like Quest for Tires almost. Yes. Like in the in the in the mechanism. That is constantly moving. It's constantly moving, one? and you're jumping and you're ducking. Yes. There's no shooting, obviously. Oh my goodness. Um. Like I said, it's the arc. How, how, how? How do you avoid that if it comes from behind? Jump in the air and you move gotta, out of the you way. You have to be in the middle. Yeah. Um, ah, ha, ha. Oh, threading the needle. Yeah, you have to. Oh. Gotta jump. See, I'm not, I'm, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, um, it's the same problem I always run into where I'm hitting angles instead of up. I wonder if that's your progress through the level. Maybe. I didn't get very far, let me tell you. It's really cool. I Cheap like it. Death suck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you do get a bit of reprieve when you die, so you have to position yourself to a place that. Well, doesn't... if you move, then you lose. You immediately lose your um, immunity, I guess. 
Oh, oh, okay. So you, you'll float in the air and flash. I don't think they can hit you while you're flashing, but if you move at all, you lose it instantly. So if there are bugs around you, or they come up from behind, you're, you're dead, so. Uh, what? what? Yeah, I, I jumped high enough. It's hard. And if you stop your jump at any point, then yeah, you can't keep going. You immediately fall asleep. So there's some mechanics to get used to, but it's it, it's really cool. You do get health back if you shoot every fly in a segment. In a, in a segment? That makes sense. Good job. So now I have full health again. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Is that just shooting the flower? It was, which is very odd. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. That's cool. And if you don't shoot a set of the bugs, another set of bugs comes on the screen uh, to interfere with you. Oh my god, that was close. Yeah, the ones that come from behind are challenging. Here's where it shows James has 30 hours in the game already. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no. uh, not 30 hours, Maybe but he's, he's probably... 15 minutes. Yeah, he's probably at least played it more Damn than it. once, which is... I, I can't say, so... <laughs> oh, did, it, did I have a bigger shot there? Yeah, you did. I don't know how you got it, though. Everything just takes one hit, though, so I'm yeah. not sure how that benefits. I guess benefits. it's broader, though, but... Uh, Maybe... Oh, yeah. Maybe for the boss uh -huh, at the end. Aha, text Rich. He says this game seems full of bugs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unremovable bugs. Yeah. As the player, you have to fix the game of all the bugs. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, yeah, my shot got bigger. Am I faster moving to... Oh, you're in a different area. Oh, look at this. It's a bridge. Yay. This feels like Part boss two. territory. Part two. Oh, ah! no. I thought they were going to go up again. That's okay. Oh, yeah. You Just are don't immune. Don't move until... Oh, you can it... move to the left and right. Yes, you can. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just not up and down. As soon as you do that, it's uh, it's over. Ah, just missed it. Oh god. Oh, health. Well, not that bad. Come on, want a bigger shot before the boss comes? Set it. Uh, that looks like a hole, doesn't it? It sure does. Hi. Oh, Atari's back. This is this He's game. He's like, I is, want another shot to win, please. This game is like the mix of my two favorite genres. Yeah. Platforming and shooter. It's pretty I awesome. I never thought I would see a platformer shooter. It's it's oh, it's uh it. I you know what? If this is a good thing to ask the people in the chat. I know games like like damn this it. exist, but like a shooter platformer at the same time. Are there many others other examples of this type of uh endless runner shooter, shooter platformer? Shooting platformer. I Where you keep floating back one. to the ground, you know what I mean? Like you have to jump up and shoot. I, I can't think of one. Don't forget to dodge the bugs, says Carl. Thank you. Very useful. Very useful. <laughs> oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Bentley Bear? Ah, oh, damn it. Does Bentley Bear continue continuously scroll? I don't think it does. Does it? No, Bentley no. Bear? Or am, I, or am I thinking of another I don't game? I think Bentley Bear scrolls. Yeah, because this continuously. one. Continuously. You die. You die. Yeah. It's a terrible death if that happened. Yeah. You gonna play again? Yeah. Reminds me of Super Cobra. Yeah. Yeah, with the um, towers, the stacks. Yeah. But an endless runner shooter. Not a shooter. I mean, what's what's the, the well-known... Completely a shooter. This is completely a shooter. There's patterns. They're coming in and off the screen. 100%. Oh, you're doing much better this time. No, no. Uh, this is the beginning. No, I mean, just there. in general. Uh, you can hold the button down. I know. Oh, okay. Ah, see, sometimes my jumping... No, go back to the blue. Oh, looks so good. No! <laughs> ah, two... Yeah, sometimes my jumps are... Uh, continuously scrolling, yes. Constant scrolling. Like a shooter Oh, you do like fall down eventually, just so you're aware. Oh, oh, did you let it run? <sighs> and you didn't touch the joystick or the button? Yeah. It just uh, dropped me before I um. That's a good question, ITC. What is going on with the background colors? Um, I don't know. Remember when I was talking about my Atari 8-bit being yellow? Like it was so yellow, and I was trying to figure it out. It's it's the Atari. 
um, itself, for sure, 100%. And now it's kind of shifting back and forth between the colors. And it's very noticeable on this game. And it's very predictable as well. Which means I don't think it is something that's loose inside. Because at the beginning, whenever we play this game, it goes back and forth between good, because it's supposed to be blue in the background, and this green, seafoam green color. Um, so somebody theorized that it might be the power. Like, the it's not getting enough power, which is possible, I guess. Oh, see, it's going Finally. back to the, the blue again for a second. So I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, use duck. Good. I always forget I have the duck. Quack, quack. Ah, uh, you're pretty good on health. You're doing really good. good job. Or duck. I keep forgetting. Yes, you can duck. <laughs> Squish. It does have a VBXE in it. Um, it might be like, oh, it's using up too much power. That's a possibility. Does it have a color pot? Not that I know of. You mean the VBXE? Well, yeah, it may be a bad pot. The 8 bits have a color trimmer, but the VBXE isn't affected by it. Okay. Hmm. I do have another power brick for this. I'm using like a straight wire that is a 5 volt. Um, power. Like it just plugs into a USB port for power. I don't know if that's like a good one or it's like, oh, you shouldn't be using a USB power for your Atari. It's just not enough amperage. But ITC would be the expert at that for sure. I would try using the monitor output on composite or SV to see if the VBXE. Oh, that's true. That's another good test. So I'll do that after. Ooh, good. Got Finally. extra hit points for that. Oh my god, this part, there's so many high parts. Oh, uh, it's lots of jumping. Yeah, like... Oh, you've made it so much further than me. Ah! Oh! One life left. Oh, oh right off jump. the edge. Oh. oh, that was good. That was good. Is that the progress? Oh my god, the levels are brutally long. <laughs> brutally long. Yeah. So, um, Bobo Cujo. <laughs> Case in point, if I run an S Drive Max or Fujinet without external power and I run my standard 1.5 amp, I definitely get display warbling. warbling. Interesting. Uh, ITC, my 9 pin on mine doesn't provide a very good ground for the cables I use, and I have to prop the cable up just right or get something similar. Mm. Bobo Cujo, I also tried running my 800XL for USB power. I got all sort of color glitches. Oh. Mm. So uh, it could be the power then. Yes. Okay. I. It's something you can play with. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to play with it right now, but it's something you if can I play have, with. If I like super accessible, yeah. then. Yeah, it's not an endless runner, technically. There is no. an end, and there is a boss, apparently, at the end, too, Vitoko. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. not technically an endless. I'll play runner. with that after. I don't know where the power supply is at the moment. It's probably in my 8-bit box. I'm gonna play one more. Okay. And then we'll play two-player. Oh, there's two player. Yep. Oh my goodness. Simultaneous co-op. Ah. That's why I put this game at the end because it's so fun. It's an endless runner that's not endless. Yeah. <laughs> it does have an end, uh, but endless in the sense that it just keeps scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you have to hold up to the height you want to go. Yeah. So you can go right to the top, and as soon as you let go, you drop. That's you can't go back up. Yeah. yeah you can't go back. There's up. There's no double jumping. But that's good for shooting, like these bugs, because then you can perfectly get the height yeah. that you want. Oh, Dan! It was Sprite, and he just won. Like it was ten nine. Atari was yes. doing pretty good. Atari was leading for most of it. Yeah, actually. poor, poor uh, Atari lost it right at the last minute. And then Cat Sprite Wars. pulled it out at yeah. the end. Cat Wars. It is Cat Wars. Yeah, there's two levels of shot. Well, three levels. Your initial one, 
and then one that's kind of bulbous, and then this solid one. And I'm guessing it's for the boss at the end. Oh! Nice. Oh, oh, it looks so good! Stick. Oh, look at the beautiful purple robot! Stay! Lavender. No! No! So you can see what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, beautiful. Very, uh, Mario Blue Sky. Yeah. Wiggle that cable. Hey, it's sticking for a bit. It really anyway. looks like a cable issue here. Uh. Zaxxon, Carl G says. Zaxxon. Um. That's not a platformer. <laughs> um. Or does it have to be a horizontal scroller? Well, we're just wondering with that jumping mechanism incorporated well, into the scroller. It, I don't know if it can be a vertical one because how can you have a you platformer? You bounce wall to wall, maybe. I don't know. Mm, it's just, so. it's just the, just the, um, ah. adding in a jumping and gravity mechanic along yes. with shooter. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's lots of games where you, you have to, you have to kind of maintain your, what would you call that? Your height or your like, um, oh, there's a term. It's just escaping me right now. Oh, oh no. Uh, your loft. Yes. Right? It's oh, almost yeah. like you have to maintain your loft to stay up, and then you you float up and down. Yep. Um, Gross. But this is actually, you know, hitting the ground and jumping and falling to the ground. This is cool. It's amazing. James is a fan. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a fan too. It's really Massive fun. Massive fan of this. Yeah, this is really, really fun. Because there's so much going on. Like you have to platform while doing yeah. a shooter, which is crazy combination. So Vitoko says, Atari received the treats too far from the bell. Sprite almost didn't move from his place. So Vitoko, I do want to say Atari has a habit <laughs> of actually hitting the treat with his paw and he ends up hitting it further away Damn because it. I very much try to drop the treat right yeah. next to the bell but Sprite doesn't do that Sprite is just maybe a little more coordinated to catch the treat yes. but Atari will will whip it away or will run away with the treat too <laughs> well I think he's just scared Sprite's going to come after him. Well, because Sprite used to steal his treats. But now it Still, seems well. like Atari steals more from Sprite. Like yes. he's looking at Sprite's treat, like looking for the opportunity to steal <laughs> Sprite's treats. So there is something to the personality of the cats and their tactics. Yeah. Because um, Atari will take Sprite's treats. Yep. Whereas Sprite doesn't seem as concerned with getting Atari's treats. So. Not anymore. No. Yeah. He used to steal them constantly. You have to shoot. What is this? Which one? Oh, God. Okay, so platformer continuous scroller shooter. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I mean, it's a very obviously narrow band of requirements that uh, are fairly unusual. You are less likely to be hit by them if you shoot some of them, yes. Also true, Carly. <laughs> really? Thank you. Is he giving pro tips in the <laughs> chat? Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh what my is God. this? Oh, you got to dodge. If this is a dodge. Oh, my God. This game is incredible. <laughs> That's new. I like that. Yep, that Just is Just random new. rain. You didn't get to that part. You definitely made it further than me. Oh! So hard when there's platforms to deal with. It's like, oh my god, I have to coordinate killing these things while dodging. So what's the cord I should wiggle to see if we can get the color back? Don't do it right. Okay. Don't wiggle <laughs> it while you're in the middle of the game and you're no, doing well? please. Yeah. Oh, there's a bridge. I'm wondering if those, those bridges... Oh no, maybe not. I was going to say maybe they indicate a go from one level to another. I gaps, don't know. Gaps are getting big and there's no enemies. Boss time. Oh god. Yes. Are those mines? Yep. This is um... What? Oh that's funny. Now we've turned into Moon Patrol. Oh yes! Moon Patrol you jump and shoot. Uh yes. Yes! Oh. Moon yeah. Patrol. Moon Patrol. That's the game that's that's very similar. Like yes. I would say the, the, the mechanism is very similar. 100%. Um, just the patterns of the enemies. That's the only difference. Can you but yeah, that's continuous. Um, they're shooting and there's platforming. Yeah. It's, oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is brutal. 
I'm assuming there is an RGB cable being used to plug into your tank setup. Yes. So that would be the cable to wiggle. Um, that doesn't seem... Oh, there is a... Can you, go, can you go under? No. Uh, down there, it looks like you can right now, because yeah. there's some But you floor. can't duck and move. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. That's Oh, you can awesome. duck and move. Okay. And there's also a game that does this. I can't yes. remember the name of it. Oh, my God. That's probably for the best that I went down there. Well, I think it's forcing you to, because you can't get past that. No, there's no way I could have got past that. Oh, I need some oh, health. Oh, boy. No, oh, not like that. No. No. <laughs> ah. I don't know how far along I am, but I need some power up. Stay close to the middle too. That's also the, the my tip is you stay in the middle as much as possible because people things do come from behind, so you can't hang to the back the whole time or you you get in trouble. It's hard. Sometimes you it is do hard. have it to is. hang to the back because you don't know how far the platform is. The next one. That is true. So like there's that. there is um a balance. Yep. Please, 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 please. Ah! Oh. Tires. Ah! Oof. Is there going to be a tire fire at the end of this somewhere? <laughs> Maybe. Springfield tire fire. Springfield tire oh, fire. Boy. This is so hard. I need help! No! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yes. Good job. Tiny bit of health. Oh, the boss. Or not? Okay. Oh, oh it is! Oh, you keep going? With the boss? Oh my god. Oh, that is... Mosquito. That's a nasty looking mosquito. I think you oh, have to I'm hit it Oh, I'm at full set. power, thankfully. No, you're not. Damn it. Now I'm not. Now you have one no, left. Pea shooter. One health. Oh, oh. He, he has a health. Is that health at the top? I don't know what that is. Let me uh, see. Let's see if it goes down. Hopefully it does go down. No, oh, it's I not. I don't know. It's not going down. Oh my goodness. Jump. Oh... Get back! <laughs> ah! These bullets don't do too much, but they do Oh, enough. he is going down. It's very slow, though. Oh. <gasps> it's very slow. As it is with bosses, especially with this pea shooter. Remember, you can always duck, too. True. No! No! forever. No, no, no. There's no health up or no health to get in this. Oh my god. The nice thing is if there is like a divot in the ground, like a spot you can't hide from him there, because he can't jump on you. My last life. I know. Oh. Four out of nine left. Oh, oh no. no! No! Right at the end. That is a progress meter. Oh, it is. Nasty creatures. Those are the same, very same mosquitoes where I live. Yeah. The boss does look awesome. That it's only is... register on his head. Yeah, it is his head. BC's quest for tires. A little you bit. You don't shoot. In that one. It's very close. I don't think you do. No. Yeah, but it does remind me the mechanic and the jumping. There's something about the jumping that reminds me of the Quest for Tars. Oh, two player? Stage. Oh, I see. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see what two players is like. Oh, the uh, underground jump and duck. Yes, definitely. That's Where cool. Du oh, ducking yes. under the ducking, stalactites. Ducking the, uh, and jumping over the, the tree branches. And yeah. Okay, I'm green. Brown, and we which interfere I... with each other too. Like, Do we? Yep. I can push. I can jump on top of you. <laughs> so that ah. is uh, not good if you're jumping over a ledge and you land just on the edge of the ledge. But we have uh, firepower. Oh my god. You got oh. And it looks like the same amount of enemies. So this will help. I wonder who gets the help. <gasps> no! If we shoot. Sh who gets the health? Is it the person who shoots the last enemy? I don't know. Maybe. Or do we oh. both get health? I think it's I got that. Ow. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, I'm I I I keep losing sight of who I'm actually playing. That's a horrible. No, you're not green. I know. Yeah, good balance for co-op. Uh, it provides a, a little bit, it provides a lot more firepower, but some danger because of that. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's Because there's, me. it's going to be very hard later on because of the small shelves that you have to land on. There's, there is a room enough for two people, but for some of them it's pretty brutal. Oh, it hit me even though I was ducking. But okay, that's good to know. Nope, that, you got that. Yeah. I think I got it. I know I have, a, I have an increased bullet size, so maybe... Oh. oh, I see. There is registered of the bullet size. You can yeah. see them beside the player one, player two. Oh. Okay. And really, on the first level, that's only handy for the boss. Oh, ah. come on! You should be able to duck him there. Theoretically, you can land on the other person, but he just slides off. Yeah. Ugh, dead. Dead? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. I fell off a few too many uh, cliffs there. Okay, I want to reset and actually play through it again. Yeah, from me, from the beginning. See if yep. you can get to that uh, mosquito. Yep. And you can't occupy the same space. So. Definitely no friendly fire. No, that would be no. terrible. That'd that be would be possible. that would be yeah. You would just kill each other off really fast. So I think I can kill that. <laughs> um, the boss in this level, if I maintain my lives a bit better this time, I think I can, because I kind of know what's coming up. Yeah. Now, better idea of... Well, um, I really like that level with the under underground parts to it. That was really so cool. So cool. Nice little uh, change of pace. And the uh, droplets of... Oh, the Whatever. water drops. Yeah. yeah, that was cool too. Nice little like bonus uh, area, almost mm -hmm. different from the rest. Ah! The ability to gain back your health so easily, in quotes, is is very very good. It's, it's nice that there's that benefit, right? Yeah, it's like the better you shoot, you know, you get some health back. It does get much harder to get your health back later on. And you get your bullets back. Very much like um, Reventuli's Dragon's Havoc, where you get more uh, firepower the better, the more you shoot the enemies. Yeah. And speed ups as well. Um, and health. Health is all combined in that as well. So very similar. Yeah, I need to fix that issue. Hopefully, it's a simple like plug issue rather than internal. Yeah, if it's internal, then that'll be a little bit more... Um, Points are really, around. really low. Oh, really low. It's like... But they have so many one, digits. One per. One <laughs> per, like... I got a bonus for shooting all of them, though. It, oh, that makes sense. That does make sense. Ooh, you threaded that needle. Yeah, it's uh, years of shooters practice. Ah. Shooters and platforms. Yeah. One more. Ah, nope. Hey, Black Kitten. You're hoping for another tree time? Maybe mm. after? Or maybe maybe some catnip? Maybe. Maybe. Tanya can dish out catnip while I'm playing. Here. Everybody wants to use their winnings for some catnip to treat those cats. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Difficult one. Two sets come on. Mm -hmm. ah. Down on there we go. Back up to full. Ooh. 
Dimming of lights. I saw that too. What, what, what just happened there? Power uh, drop or something? Yep. Power company's like, you're using way too much power. <laughs> yeah. What are and you running tonight. there? It's like, well, a bunch of lights, a computer. We're here. Oh. Party time, Party for, time for kittens. Oh, Atari Cats. was upstairs. Cats. Cats. He ran all the way. Damn I can hear him running. Distraction. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay. So, party time for cats. Cats, 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 cats. Yeah? Does anybody know where that's from? Cats, cats, cats? It's from a song. Yeah. <laughs> but indirectly. Indirectly. It's from it's... Shots, 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 Shots. Do you know what the name of the song is? I Probably don't know. Shots. I just know that and I always think that I think think of that. And instead it's cats, 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 cats. Cats, 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 cats. Here. Damn it! No! Go, oh no! I blame you. Me? Yep. No, blame the cats. Two lives in a row. Oh no, it happens. Oh. Cats, oh my goodness. Sprite, you are a monster. He's making a mess. He's a cat and a monster. I gave him some and he went over to Atari's. Oh my goodness. Atari, there's some over there. There's some, there's some for you, you got your own. Good kitties. Okay, I wanna rage reset. Oh, do you? No. There we go. Thank you, Smitty B. Kind of Galaga-like. Yeah, Thank there's a you, lot of Galaga-esque um, bugs. Bugs in terms of like how they fly on the screen and how they look. Yeah. Yeah. The circular, swirly Patterns, motions. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're covered now. Catnip covered cats. <laughs> you can kind of see them in the cat cam. Oh, they're happy. Oh, oh, Atari's rolling around <laughs> in it now. Who, who, who? Uh, Smitty B. Smitty B, thank you yeah. so much, Smitty B. The cats are very happy. Uh, we haven't switched because James is playing. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Rage reset. <laughs> well, when you're trying to accomplish a goal and you lose all your lives in like the first tiny little bit of the, the level, it's like, no. What is um, the point? Captain Man 2D, those must be spotted lantern flies. Shoot them all. So someone has a bit of lantern fly trauma. <laughs> lantern fly? What are lantern I flies? I don't know what lantern flies are either. Oh yeah, Prow's got his uh, rainbow glowing kitty eating the catnip. That's cute. That's very cute. Happy kitties. Super happy Happy kitties. cats. They're both rolling around on the ground now. How well, are you doing, Are they Atari? zoned out? Yeah, Atari zoned out. <laughs> you okay? So better than okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sprite is licking the lid and Atari's on the ground. Oh, I see spotter lantern flies are all over the place in Pennsylvania, covering oh. walls and trees and sidewalks. Uh, are they one of these um, bugs that like they have like a, like almost a season and they're all over the place and then Ugh. they kind of all die off? Is that one of those, like cicadas, where they all of a sudden they, they all come out and they all die? Yeah, where they don't eat anything in their in their final phase of life. Yeah. They eat everything as worms. And they're they're like they have like six year cycles or something. I can't remember. Oh my god. Cicadas are massive. Oh, they're so noisy. I don't know if I could stand living in a place that With a has lot of cicadas. Them? Uh, I think they are invasive. I have never seen them before this year, but they're everywhere. Oh no. Oh no! Now they're invasive. Wow. Well. Sometimes it's, um... No! No! Oh. No! Okay, I'm gonna wait. As long as I can. No, you you will fall to the ground. You have to oh, be very okay. careful. Um, yeah, I think I think if, if temperatures are getting hotter, too, I think some bug species yeah, that are further move. south move further north. And I remember there being an issue with um, rattlesnakes in Ontario. Like, oh, I had friends really? who had cottages. And they used to be further south, and now they're coming further north. Um, this is a few years ago now, but I just remember them talking about that, and they were seeing more and more rattlesnakes. Um, it's probably still the same issue, but... Yeah, but yeah, gonna... you get you get migration of certain species. Yeah, we're going to see that more and more. Yeah. A bunch of weird animals coming up north. Yeah. <laughs> I just think of it as summer noise here, says Carl G. Summer noise. I don't hate the sound of cicadas, but um, just 
they just don't leave. Like just. Well, it's just, ah, and it's in the heat. You got smooshed ah, in the heat of the sun, right? It's I got on those really hot, humid days, and you hear the cicadas. I don't know. There's something pleasant about them, but also they are very noisy. <laughs> And they're huge. Yeah, they need to I, calm down. I, I never known what they looked like, and they're like massive. They hide. And when they you do look hide. for them, they, they're I like, think, they, like I want to say they're in the soil or something, like they before they emerge or something like I that. I think anyway, so. They do hide. It's like a seventeen or thir seven, thirteen or seventeen year cycle. It's crazy. Oh, I don't know. It's 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 several years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Atari's still oh licking the scraps out of uh, Sprite's <laughs> lid there. They do like their um, catnip. Oof. Oof. Do not get trapped. Three lives left. Ugh. Yeah, you don't want to stay too far back on this because it just takes one touch of you slammed up against um, a vertical pillar and you lose your life. Got to get out of the pits. Ooh, there's the water. Don't Getting get there. caught in the raindrops. I bet it's an instant life loss. Do you think? Or um, no. I bet. I bet it's just like a, a good hit. Take a good, yeah. Good shot. There good job. Go. Get some of that health back. Yep. Getting close to. Oh, not really getting close. We have to get through all the mines yet next. Oh yeah. I don't think that was a particularly long part. It wasn't super long. It was very stressful. Very cool. <laughs> Gonna go underground for the mines. Well, some of them. Oh. Some of them I think were blocked, but maybe not. Kitties, catnip cats. Catnip cats. <sighs> okay, it's mine time. Oh, I see. They're just one-off bugs. It'd, it'd be too hard to yeah. navigate a whole I think you're right. bunch of them. You'd just die. Oh, Atari's having fun. He's you rolling around. Fun? It's like, oh yeah, I feel it's good now. Woo, I feel good. <laughs> Just a tiny passageway. It's kind of it's intro. It's kind of to prep you. Yeah, like, oh, you can go down if you want, or you can jump over. Jumping over might be easier for a lot of them. Uh, yeah. But for the one that's the big passageway, is it this one? Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, you have to give yourself more space than Duck that. immediately. This is the one. Or not. No, there's more. Ah! That one you can't get through, for sure. Like I said, some oh of them are God. blocked. But there yeah. is one where you're basically forced into this it. this one. No? No. No. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. No, nope. it's here, I think. Here you have to go down. Yes, it's. I think it's that uh, wall of enemies that kind of pushes you down. Yeah, it's and. Like, oh, by the way. And when you look down. at it, it's like, look at all those mines. That's very hard to navigate. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, you could, but. You haven't hit a mine, have you? Uh, no. Like, you don't want to. Oh, God, no. But I'd like to see it go off and see what happens if there's a massive explosion or something. Do that on your turn. No, no, I, I'm not... <laughs> you'd have to get to this point and then sacrifice yourself, which no one wants to do, so... No. Yeah. Extra. Oh, boy. Oh, no, I missed the last Quick. one. Quick. Oh, oh yeah. Needed that extra little life there. A little bit of health. It must be getting close. I think so. Can't remember how much more there was, but yeah. Uh, very yep. close. Now we're oh, getting there. Yeah, almost there. Yeah, the one thing with the um, mosquito is. Yeah, this this is like islands, right? You have to avoid all the Damn drop it. points. Yeah. But um. Come on, just need that extra little bit of health. No. Now, now you're gonna get the. There he is. A couple hits on him. I'm at full power, and that's why I don't want to die. Yeah. We'll get trapped. And then you start shooting. Actually, he shoots after you get his first bar of health down. Oh, okay. This Keep is his in, second phase. Oh, you phase. got his second bar of health. Because he's got nine. Oh, you've taken a big chunk out already. It's because I have full maximum power in my oh, shots. Oh, see? That makes all the difference, doesn't it? Down to four. 
Oh yeah, that makes a huge, huge amount of difference. No, no! Oh! Pea shooter time That's on okay. my last That's okay. life. That's okay. Ugh. That's okay. You d you got a lot on your pea shooter, shooter last time. It's just making sure you get his head. Oh, I almost got trapped. You haven't hit him yet. There you go. Oh boy! Oh! Oh, oh my god. He does follow you a bit. He does have a pattern with Almost his shot. Dead. He has a pattern with his shot, so yes. Mm. There's like a timed pattern. Now he's moving oh, down to three. He's moving more. Okay, you definitely have to get past him and then let him come back to you. Yep. It's like shot. Shot. Oh, no. One. Oh, my goodness. So close. I just need to... I'm as low health at because he is... He's going to shoot. Who's going to... No! Oh! Oh, no! He has a pattern to his shot. Oh, uh, let's pretend oh, I won. Oh, <laughs> okay. You're not going to do it again? No. That was so close. Yeah. You have to shoot his face. Yeah. Ray Trace at no. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think I'll be playing that game in the future. Oh, it's awesome! You'll <laughs> you, you have to play stages. it again to finish it. There's to, four stages. And to finish the fourth stage, you can't jump directly to the fourth stage. You have to go through the third and then finish the fourth. So this is all stage one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, just, we will definitely be playing this on an after dark. Look at what stage a great two. game. Are you sure it's Cutworm's Green Spittle? Oh yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Totally. Different enemies, different landscape. Aphids, flying aphids. This is like Egyptian <laughs> looking kind of stones. Sort of, yes, and... yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Starts off easy. As it should. Slow patterns that hold. So, so close. I know. I know. So it's sad. always what happens. Okay. Let's briefly look at the yep. stage three. Wasps. Wasps. Oh. I guess no, honeycomb's honey nice. Oh. oh, so cute. Oh, my goodness. It's a shame we're not seeing the real colors. We'll have to fix it I'll and fix play it, it on an after dark and try to get through yes. as much as possible. The whole thing. I am. <laughs> Unlikely, but never know. Oh, you got double shot now. That's good. I think you get the double shot when you when you're at full health and you get more. It, you just have to shoot two groups. Oh, two groups. So it doesn't matter where your health each, is at. Each group gives you a, um, a health. Okay. And each group gives you up to three. Uh, levels Shot of upgrades, shots, yeah. Makes but sense. only useful on the boss. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, because it's one shot per. Well, maybe not. Maybe on other levels, there's more. I don't know. Maybe. Not so far. Ooh, the patterns. Ooh, good Different job. Patterns. Oh, how Love it. There is a Galaga esque. Uh, Very good. I don't know how you're supposed to get hard. The one on the left. Hard. The groups of five are each a group. Yeah. Oh, are they? Did I get a It full? looks like it. I heard a beep. Ooh, that one, those went through the floor. Wow, this is so cool. Some honey jars embedded there. Oh, is that where they go? They go oh, to the honey jar. <laughs> Maybe. I think they do. Really? Yeah. It's just what it says. No, Oh, it's they not. are going to the honey jars. They go to the honey jars. Wow. What a nice little detail. Cool. See? They go, oh. like, not directly. So if you know that, and now they're falling one by one. Neat. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so cool. Highly these. recommend this game. I'm going to fix my Atari 8-bit. Did you want to see four, or that was no, one, two? Oh, you can't. You can't go directly to four. So four, you you have to earn. Yeah. Well, that's fair. I think that's fair. How cool. Very, very cool. So the cats have run away. Of course. Come back. Come, Come back. Come back for the end. Come back. Come show yourself off. Are you high still? Good no. Kitties. Come. Come. Come, little kitties. Come 
Um, so today we played uh, Druidarium. Very, yes. Uh, very cool game. Uh, deserves a revisit as well. Yes. Um, Mr. Hop. Excellent. Excellent. Simple, Endless excellent. Runner. Fun. They're all platformers today. Yes. Oh, let oh. Him, don't let him Can you get the lid? Thank you. Especially not dump that on the ground. Oh, he would. And Robix. Uh, unbelievable game. Absolutely stunning. Um, and uh, let's see. Was that in a contest? How did that come in uh, fourth place? Robix. Robix came in fourth place? Yeah. That's fantastic. After 2010. Wow, they must have had some... We're going to have to see what other games. <laughs> they were all like matching games. Really? And I was like really surprised. I looked at them like, oh my God, this came in fourth. I'm going to check out the other three that are above it. And you were like, like, oh, they're just matching games. Just tile matching games. Oh, but said, this one was fantastic. Was so huge. Yeah. I, I don't know what the judging criteria was, but this is absolutely stunning and uh great uh, graphics by pseudo graphics oh uh, good job good job pseudo graphics um and that one's available at atari mania website okay there's no real thread for it on the atari just H just go to the forums. atari mania website atari mania website right. to download that um so what's coming up on the show we have some pretty big shows coming up actually um let's get that on the screen well, that's not what I want. Hi, kitty. How are you? Oh, there we go, there. Are you okay, kitty? There we go. Twitch stream. Yes. Um, so uh, next Friday, we have the light gun special. Nice. Unfortunately, won't be here. I won't be here? No. Oh, that's Unless true. you are. It's no. in the afternoon. No. I'm not here. Um, that's Sad. Darcy. It would be Darcy because yes. it's supposed to be Ireland today. Uh, with the Ireland will feel better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In two weeks? I hope so. Uh, the exclusive world premiere of... <laughs> Excuse me. Oop. Noisy. Ducks Away by Smoothie. Ducks Away! He's in the chat right now. Nice. And we're going to be playing a whole bunch of other uh, light gun games on the 2600, 7800, and 8-bit all homebrew light gun games. Okay. Uh, then, sometime after that, we have the exclusive world premiere of Doom Slayer Edition for the Jag. We just have to find a day and time for that it may be a day and time that is not normal just so we can fit it in um, before prge okay. and abbuc contest cool. entries i don't know what day i have to figure that out with the developers because they want to be here okay for the premiere of that yeah. it's so it's a pretty big deal yeah that'll that'll feed into what day and what time we do it right yes yes yeah so exciting. we'll see. Yeah, That's I'll be bringing exciting. out a CRT for that, for the light gun. It'll nice. sit right below. Nice. It'll still be HDMI feed okay. out to everyone. Um, so it'll still be the same good quality. But, but there'll be a need feed it. off that we will be using for the light gun below. That so makes sense. So we can sense. shoot. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, and I'm guessing the games like flash or do something. So you know if I've missed or hit it properly. Um, then we're going to be at PRGE in three weeks. Three weeks. Yay! Three weeks exactly, actually. On Friday the 13th to Sunday the 15th, nice. we'll be bringing our stickers down, bringing some giveaways. Definitely come up to us. Don't be afraid. Yes, we we're, love ch chatting with people. We're just so. normal people. <laughs> but we want to get a picture of, uh, of you with us. If you yeah, come, if absolutely. You come. Yep. Yeah, say hi. Um, and we have lots of stickers. You bought a bunch oh, of really so nice, stickers. nice stickers. So, yep. Yeah, we got stickers for you. So, yep, yeah, of these ZPH stickers yep. to hand out to people who come up to us and maybe some of Tanya's crafts if she gets a bunch well, if, done. if I get some done, yeah. Oh, we're tiny. We're tiny. Flip it back. Here, here we go. Nice. ZPH stickers. Definitely uh, grab some of those from us when you see us. Um, what else is happening? Uh, the floor four-player special sometime in October, November. We have all four of us here, and we're going to be playing some four-player, simultaneous four-player games. Yay! And Mule, because Mule's awesome, and it's a four-player <laughs> game. There. It's not simultaneous. Well, parts are. Okay. When you're bidding uh, for items. Okay. That's a four-player. Four have you played that game before, Don't Mule? think so, no. It's, oh, maybe uh, I have. It sounds very familiar, but I can't picture it. It's a land resource game. 
I love games like that, so I'm a little surprised. But yeah. have we? I don't know. I don't think I we've don't played know. it because it's not a homebrew. No, I know it's not a homebrew, yeah. but I'm trying to think if some under like some other context, like when we were playing it's on all the, the games. Sixty four. No. Yeah. Spammers, go away. Um, <laughs> no, we wouldn't have played it under any other context, really. Okay. Because it, it's just mule. It's from the eighties. Uh, Mule is fantastic. Oh my god, it's one of my favorite games to play on the C64. Mm -hmm. I actually played it with Darcy in the 80s. Oh my goodness. On the C64. It's a reunion. It's yep. a Mule reunion. Um, he loves a game. Yeah, yeah you, you plant different things on different parts of the land that do better or worse. Oh, okay. On, like okay. farming does better where there's river or river nearby. Okay. Open areas are better for, um, for making um, like solar panels for gathering energy oh nice nice uh, solar panel still active from the 80s i'm yeah. really glad to see that technology is <laughs> and you do mining where there are mountains gotcha. and uh yeah it's things like that cool and you can hunt the wumpus in the game if you see him up here you get some money nice you have to outfit some mules it's really fun oh my god it's so fun and then if you hog all the food people have to buy it for and if you don't have enough food, you don't output enough, and it's just a downward spiral from there. So you have gotcha. to, it's, it's game balancing as well. I know. I play a lot of those. I play but Civ a lot, and yeah. I love games like that. So yeah. I think I'll enjoy it. As I long as it's not so. too hard to learn. But it's ve There's very few things that are going on in okay. it. So it's pretty quick to pick up. Okay. Okay. Um, then Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary Ooh, in November. Yeah. yeah. After, after PRG, we'll after be PRG. back. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, Halloween homebrew, Atari homebrew. So we have to find those. Uh, somebody has already contacted me with, for a Halloween homebrew game. Oh, good. Game. Excellent. So hopefully there Excellent. are more that crop up in time for us to play it. Yes. And we'll actually be playing it on Halloween. Oh, it falls on that's awesome. a Tuesday. So it's your day. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Go. I'm excited for that. Yep. Uh, that's good that's stuff. some of the big things coming up. And uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, thanks, Prow7, Rod Kastler, Vitoko, Medlunar, Bosianu. Thank you for hanging out and making that awesome game. Great Endless Runner. Uh, Carl G, Smitty B, um, Kafman 2D, Thrust. Ivory Tower Collections, um, Rod Kastler, Bobo Cujo, great name. Um, who else? Looking for names, looking for names. Text Rich, uh, Master KSI. Um, Joshua Turbo? Joshua top? Turbo just made it into the, the top. List. Nice. And Dan, Yay. who's late? That's well, okay. thank you for watching, Bosiano. <laughs> Thanks um, for joining. Make sure you follow um, if you like the show so you, can, so you can be alerted to when we're broadcasting next. Usually Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Fridays are the normal days. Fridays are early. Tuesdays are, are in the evening. In the evening. Yes. This is unusual. Tanya's here I, I'm not usually here on a Friday, so yeah. it's usually either uh, Erlen or Darcy. But, yeah, but I just Darcy happened to be here and Erlen wasn't feeling well, so yeah. I got to take his spot. Yay! So it's good to dive into some of the older 8-bit games. Yes. I know there's tons, so there'd be endless Lots catalogs of, of games yeah. for us to play for the 8-bit. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, so we're done for the day. Thank you for hanging out mm -hmm. with us and definitely check out those games. The links are in the Atari Age forums under the Zero Page Homebrew Twitch stream thread. And uh, we'll be back on Tuesday with her again. And um, have a great weekend, yeah. everyone. And we'll, we'll see you soon. And I'll try and fix my Atari 8-bit today. Mm. At least narrow down what the problem is. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye-bye.